want to welcome you to the University of Nairobi. And you have come to a family that is united at work in Itate at Labora. But as well as a family that prays together in the spirit of work and prayer, Ora et Labora. Like God assured the children of Israel when they arrived at Canaan, we too come to assure you, our dear young brothers and sisters, in the promises that God gave to Joshua. The five promises, he promised them his presence. And he will be with you in your time here at the university, he promises you his presence. He promised them his power. And no one will be able to stand against them all the days of your life. And that he promises us, he promises you, our dear young brothers and sisters. He promised his providence to be, that they be careful with the law and that they may never turn to do what is wrong and they will be successful. He promised his provision to provide in all their needs and he promises you the same provisions. And finally promised them his protection. He tells you, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Be not be discouraged. The Lord will be with you. With these promises, let us place ourselves before the Lord and pray. God our Father, Look upon this, your family of the University of Nairobi, and look upon our newborn uh, to this academic family. Settle them with us to learn the values uh, that uh, lead them to excellence. Bless all of us who welcome them uh, so that, like Joshua, we shall be able to do our duties as appointed by you, O Lord, to instruct, to teach, and to inspire these young ones. Bless the sacrifices of the parents, the guardians, benefactors, and all those who have enabled these young ones to arrive here. May their labor, may their sweat never fail. May these young ones, Lord, integrate and bring freshness into our university family with their talents bestowed upon them by you May they experience with us for the next uh, years that they will be in this university. That they spend these talents, prepare them to contribute to society that we belong to now and in the future. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father Kaigwa. Uh, the Vice Chancellor. The Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic Affairs, Associate Vice Chancellor in charge of research, innovation, and enterprise, the Chief Operations Officer, deans, members of the University Senate, our distinguished students, ladies and gentlemen. I would like once more to welcome you to this great university the University of Nairobi, the best university in the region and one of the best universities in the world. As we start our program, I would like to request the choir to give us two songs to entertain us as we continue with our program. Thank you. Nobody puts the gun. Nobody puts the gun. Nobody puts the 
Let us appreciate the choir much better. That is just a sample of how wonderful our choir is. It's among the best choirs in this country. And uh, as you get to the university, you'll be able to get a chance, if you want to join the choir, to join it. Now, I'd like to welcome the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of our academic affairs, Professor Julius Ogemo to come and make his remarks and welcome the Vice Chancellor. Thank you. The Vice Chancellor, Management, Senate, all students, my dear freshmen, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I congratulate all the freshmen on having performed well, and especially on earning a place at this prestigious university, the University of Nairobi. Vice Chancellor, before we go further, with your permission, I would like to make some introductions. My dear freshmen, the academic process of the university is organized around departments and faculties. I will now ask all the chairmen of departments present in the house to please arise. There is 63 of us. So each one of you should start thinking which department am I going to be and who is going to be my chair of department they addressed you only yesterday. Thank you very much, you may be seated. The next layer then, we have associate deans of faculties. Associate Dean Kisumu Campus, cross faculty, Professor Charles Rambo. May you stand. Thank you very much. Associate Dean, Mombasa Campus, I haven't seen her, it's Dr. Sarah Kinyanjui. Associate Dean, uh, Kenya Science Campus, Professor Horace Ochanda. Associate Dean, Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, Dr. Jennifer Muchiri. Associate Dean, Faculty of Business and Management Sciences, Dr. Joshua Wanjari. Associate Dean, Faculty of Education, Dr. Andy Ritu. Associate Deans, Faculty of Health Sciences, and there are two I see Professor CFO Tieno, and the other one there is Professor Evelyn Wagayo. Uh, Associate Dean, Faculty of Law, Professor Colin Sodote, who may not be here, with good apology. Associate Dean, Faculty of Science and Technology, Professor Francis Mola. I now turn to the deans of faculties who are seated with us on this side. The Dean, Faculty of Agriculture, Professor Moses Nyangitu. The Dean, Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, Professor Jack Odiam. The Dean, uh, Faculty of uh, built Environment and Design, Professor Lila Kosanjo. Dean, Faculty of Business and Management Science, Professor James Dihia. 
Dean Faculty of Education, Professor Jeremiah Kalai. Dean Faculty of Engineering, Professor Ayub Gitao. Dean Faculty of Health Sciences, Professor George Osanjo. Dean Faculty of Law, Professor Winfred Kamau. Dean Faculty of Science and Technology, Professor Leonida Kerubo. I also take this opportunity to introduce the Dean of Students, Mr. Johnson Kinwa. Somewhere. Thank you, Johnson Kinwa. And then there are the academic registrar, uh, Mr. Humphrey Webuye, who is a master of ceremony today. And I'm looking around for the registrar administration. Why did I forget? Professor John Mande, Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. <laughs> Maybe he gave me too much beef. <laughs> yes, he's behind me. Sorry about that, uh, John. Uh, that's Professor John Mande. My apologies. And then, the, now at the center, the divisions. The, we are uh, three divisions. The Division of Administrative Campus Services, headed by the Chief Operations Officer, Mr. Brian Omar. The Associate Vice Chancellor, Research, Innovation, and Enterprise is Professor Margaret Hutchison, but she's away this afternoon, represented by the Director of Research, Professor Justice Munyoki. And lest I am not communicated, let me introduce the Director of Corporate Communications, Mr. John Oridi. Colleagues, and I call the freshmen colleagues, get used to it. 39 years ago, Two weeks away from today, I sat in the same space. The transformation in the first five years, the transformation in the next six years, and the transformation 39 years is a journey. I invite you to start that journey. It's a good journey. All it requires is dedication, commitment, focus on your target. Vice Chancellor, it is your day, but before I invite you, I like uh, Mr. John Orindi, the Director of Corporate Affairs, to take us through a very brief tour of what this journey likely entails. John, and it's virtual. Next to the most high, Nasiku are high. Meditation if we are na Christ, Nasiku pata courage ya kufight. You see, your stories are kwa high, dreams are kwa pilot, zilikatika kwa hewa, na ambition zake za kwa daktari zikapote hospitali ya his mentally patabu. Alifika point dami yake ilikuwa contaminated, ilikuwa chafu design, ange kwa nguo, hata ziki nge muambia, oh no, ungevuta aerial juu instead of kuvuta ndo onekane uko juu. He used to be rowdy, but sai, he is so soft, he is down, he is facing the consequences, anatamani kujirinzi. It goes without saying that students join university for academic reasons, a time to be molded into a professional member of the future society. But then it follows that the path is never smooth. They leave high school and then they come here. Some will, they are, some are moving to a lot of socialization. Others even start trying drugs. Others have come with the issue of drugs from high school. For my struggle, uh, I tend to rely mostly, I went through alcoholism, uh, and I went through alcoholism and drug abuse through the pressure that uh, I built into myself through the struggle of my studies. Beyond the intellectual maneuvers, 
Students get exposed to options that are career enabling as they attend classes, engage in co-curricular activities, join clubs and seek mentorship. But it can equally emerge tragic if individual time and opportunities are outrightly squandered or poorly managed. It could be because of ignorance that is their own making. And some maybe because of natural circumstances. Maybe you can just find yourself in a setup where you don't know how you find yourself in. And therefore, it's very, very important that they do really take time at the University of Nairobi to be able to achieve what they have come here for. To this then, the University of Nairobi has commissioned interventions that seek to support students beyond the classroom. One such intervention is the O3+. I really wish that I knew all the freedom I'd have before I actually joined and all the responsibility that comes with adulting. Okay, that's, that's nice. In hindsight, what I, I really wish I knew uh, that the dean, Dean's of Students uh, Office has a lot of opportunities to offer for students, like uh, you can work as you study, mm -hmm. and this gives you a lot of um, experience. So even as you graduate and go to the industry, you're a complete package. Mm -hmm. So that even when you're asked about experiences, you already have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, I wish I knew the freedom that freedom comes with a lot of responsibility. Mm -hmm. I was this wild pastor who just wanted freedom to get out of the house, and I realized it's not what I thought. And going out and enjoying my freedom, but I realized, way, <laughs> can I do that thing? And went straight home back. So mm -hmm. I'm now approaching freedom with a lot of care and taking it one step at a time. Mm -hmm. But lucky for you joining the university, the O3 Plus is back and it is here to make sure that you are okay and that you don't have to go through what we went through, yeah. of course. And always remember that help is simply a decision away. Through the O3 Plus, students can benefit from peer mentors, access quality gender information from the gender desk, get guidance, support and counseling services at various levels, including the Dean's office, and the University Health Services, UHS, access credible information, support and remote counseling through the RADA app and listen to various podcasts on topical student issues online on Anchor FM. O3 Plus, our rights, our lives, our future, has been brought to you by the University of Nairobi.
like it. So now you know a little about the University of Nairobi. Uh, my name is Julius Ogengo. I am Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs. It is now my honor, a singular pleasure, to invite the Vice Chancellor, Professor Stephen Kiama, to deliver his matriculation address. And may I now ask you to be upstanding to receive the Vice Chancellor for his address. Welcome, Vice Chancellor. Okay, very well, we may be seated. Yes, uh, you look very nice and welcoming from where I am. Um, I'm happy to see all of you this afternoon. Let me begin by acknowledging the Deputy Vice Chancellor in charge of uh, academic affairs, Professor Julius Ogengo, the Associate Vice Chancellor in charge of research, innovation, and enterprise represented here by Jasas Munyoki, the Chief Operations Officer, Mr. Brian Nauma, all the deans of faculties, and chairman of the departments who are here, as well as the chair lady of the Students' Council, uh, Melvin Togo. I hope you had time to speak to the students at some point. You haven't? You come here, then I introduce you here. Yeah. <laughs> and they, as well as all members of Senate, yeah. Um, Yes, uh, Melvin Thogo is the chair of the Student Council. Uh, maybe one minute to greet your fellow student because after this we'll be looking for you. Um, the Vice Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor, AVC, COO, all faculty deans, all protocols observed, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Melvin Dogo, I'm president or chairperson University of Nairobi Students Association. I am a fourth year law student. Parklands, first years, just a handful. Thank you for coming. Um, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all to this um, university. This is the greatest of them all. And I also want to congratulate you for earning a place in this university because there's so many people who wanted to be here today, but they're not here, but you're here. Congratulations for that. Um, as you start your journey today, um, I know that the Students Association will have a day for you, but um, just to take a second and tell you that the way you came here individually, you're going to meet a lot of people, but tomorrow as we do our graduation, the same people who came here five or four years ago are going to live individually. So as you start your journey today, I want you to set your goals straight and know why you're here. Um, as I finish, I want to acknowledge the student leader, the student leadership. Kindly where you are, just stand a second. Um, thank you for coming. We are going to have a day where you will know all of them. And where you are, wherever you're placed, I want you to know that you're safe. There are student leaders there, and we are here to serve you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's uh, Melvin Dogo, the, the chairperson. Yeah. To all freshmen and women, it gives me great, great uh, delight uh, to receive you at this prestigious institution, the University of Nairobi. Your admission into this institution is not a mean achievement, as Melvin Togo has just said. You are the best. No doubt, uh, for the time you shall spend here, your time will change, and your time will change for good. 
all undertakings at this university, the University of Nairobi, are guided by our philosophy. A philosophy is a theory or attitude that acts as a guiding principle of behavior. So what is our philosophy? Our philosophy is the need to connect and inspire the Kenyan community to provide leadership and stewardship and to give hope and faith to the Kenyan society that it can excel in whatever it chooses to do with passion, moral responsibility, and a strong sense of patriotism. This, in many cases, has become the guiding principle, or the guiding principle of all those who graduate from here. I believe and hope that this will also be your philosophy. That is, the need to connect with the Kenyan community, the need to inspire the Kenya community, the need to provide leadership and stewardship to the Kenyan society, the need to give hope and faith to the Kenya society and also the community where you come from. Simply put, as a university, we shall prepare you for service and not to be served. This university, the University of Nairobi, is about service to mankind. Our founding president and the first chancellor of this university, the late President Jomo Kenyatta said this about this institution. My government and I wish to emphasize in this way, that here is an institution of the highest importance, highest importance to the nation, integrating into the life of the Republic, that is the Republic of Kenya. And he continued to say that if the might of the nation is to flower through this university, the professors and lecturers must be free to teach their subjects, while their students and research workers must feel free to pursue the truth and publish their findings. Two years ago, this university celebrated 50 years since President Jomo Kenyatta pronounced these words. The university has lived true to, the, to its mandate. As a consequence, we have contributed immensely to the social and economic transformation of this country. This country is better because we are. It's better because we exist. The University of Nairobi has a desire to make the country and the world better. And our contributions to be clearly visible. We labor every day in unity to fulfill this desire. This can only be possible through equipping students like yourselves and the others we have done before with the skills and knowledge that will conquer or if you wish, will subdue the earth. Our own existence as a people is threatened we have issues of diseases, climate change, drought, and all other and unimaginable things. And the war breaking out everywhere, like we have in Russia. We must develop strategies to tame such, to tame the earth, contain the diseases, adopt or mitigate against climate, climate change, and to, we have to equip you as students with those skills and knowledge to subdue and conquer the earth. That is the reason why we exist as a university. You develop as an engineer, as a literature student, as an architect, as a medical person, as a vet. All fields is to ensure that we 
secure this earth and pass it to the next generation that comes after us. And that we are not removed like the dinosaurs came and they disappeared. That we don't disappear as a people who are living in this planet today. Our graduates are in the forefront to provide solutions on food security, on combating diseases, in containing locust innovations, in providing sustainable housing, in dealing with the problems of climate change, among others. Indeed, even when we had the issue of the locust innovation, the Food uh, Association FAO came to this university to get one of our own to go and assist. Our alumni have been entrusted with leadership positions in this country and globally. The current president of the Republic of Kenya, as you know, His Excellency William Samoe Ruto, is our alumni. He studied here for his bachelor's, for his master's, and for his doctorate. The deputy president also the current speakers of parliament, that is National Assembly and Senate, also from here. The president and all the judges of the Supreme Court are from here. This is a clear endorsement that our training is up to the task. We produce uh, problem solvers. Those who are ready to subdue the earth how do we do this? We have the human resource that is well trained. The professors, the technical members of staff, the administrators and support staff all work as a team. And they will be available to you at any time you need their support and their assistance. The university is designed into 12 campuses that offer diverse environments. The academic programs are clustered along 10 faculties, and you have already been introduced to your deans. The environment and support services provided is conducive to skills, knowledge development, discovery, and mentorship. For the four, five, and six years you will spend at the University of Nairobi, we shall provide you with the knowledge that will help you to critically analyze the world you live in and impart you with the skills that will help to change it to a better alternative where people will be happier. We shall begin by bringing out the past for you in every of the programs and then walk you through the present. However, before you become too comfortable with the present, we shall lead you to a pathway to the future, the unbeaten path, a path of discovery, a future that shall be shaped by your contributions, not by ourselves. We will lead you, but you have to intervene yourself and beat your own path. You will be enabled to envision a better future and to develop skills to look for solutions to the current problems. To equip our students better for discovery. Senate is committed to soon roll out a new common cause on innovation and entrepreneurship. This will assist students to develop their innovations, new ideas that lead to business opportunities. I'm often shocked whenever I read this sign, and I don't know how many of you have read it somewhere, walking. Usikojoi <laughs> hapa. This is often written on a wall where passers by, particularly men urine it. There, there is always a trodden path leading to that wall. At at this university, we aim 
and develop, uh, developing young men and women who provide solutions. No need to be told it was Kojoy Hapa. Men and women who create alternative pathways are the better ones. Majority of you are joining University of Nairobi at 18 years old, all thereabout. You will leave this university at about 22, 23, or 24 years old. We recognize that this is a critical period of your development, of your personal development. The university appreciates the role it must play in imparting you with the critical skills to succeed in life. Consequently, we have deliberately put in place various structures for mentorship in this university. This includes the Dean of Students and the Career Office. And I believe Johnson Kenya is here. Yes. Uh, sports and Games Department and the Director of Sports and Games is here. The chaplaincy and why we talk here, the leaders in players, yeah. Is he still with us? Yes, the student uh, counselors, professional clubs, the student leadership council, and the mayor of Indoga just talked to you, religious groups, class groups, work study programs, chairman of departments, and dean of faculties, among others. In addition, the programs of study you will be undertaking provide for attachments at the experiential learning opportunities to allow you snippets of the outside world. Altogether, we are alive to the fact that you require several skills to conquer the earth. Critical thinking skills, writing skills, public speaking skills, teamwork and the collaborative skills which are really needed for this day. Skills for creativity, IT skills and leadership skills, which will provide opportunities to develop and nurture these skills among many others. As a university student, you'll be required to make crucial personal decisions concerning your studies and other issues in life, and that has been highlighted in the clip that was shown and also by Mayor Finn. These decisions will impact prospects in the field of work. What kind of threads you keep and what value they will add to your life. Which extracurricular activities you want to pursue and why. Some of you will be lucky to meet their spouses during your studies at this university. Some of you will develop business plans before you leave. Ensure you build good, good networks while you are here. Networks that add value to you. However, as you do so, make your academic passwords a priority in your decisions and everything else will fall into place. The university will accord you the necessary support to ensure that you complete your studies successfully and on time. Make it your business to expand your curricular vitae. You came with a curricular vitae with two entries, perhaps, that is, that you pass your KCPE, and two, that you pass your KCSE examinations. That is not adequate. The four years you have with us, you enjoy you have more entries than that. Expand this by engaging in several other life-changing activities. Otherwise, you may end up with only one entry after the four years, the bachelor's degree. We at the University of Nairobi admit the best students from the region. It is no surprise that our students excel in the academic and research activities. Graduates of the University of Nairobi rank highest when it comes to employer preferences in the country. Take advantage of your stay here and tap into the first knowledge of our brilliant lecturers and the alumni who are ready to teach and mentor you. You will get opportunities to interact with many alumni and learn from them through our student mentorship programs under the Dean of Students Office. You will also have access to NMR's collection of reading materials 
which are available online. Those who wish to use the physical libraries, however, are also welcome. We have libraries in every campus. As well as the Mahatma Gandhi post, uh, Postgraduate Library, which is located here. The University of Nairobi has clear guidelines on all issues pertaining to the academic conduct of students. I believe your deans, as well as the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs, have already provided you with all the information you require on this. We expect you to attend all your lectures as programmed. Submit your assignments on time. Prepare and sit all your exams. Avoid academic malpractices. The university is devoted to value, to the value of academic integrity. There are basics to be fulfilled to earn a degree at the University of Nairobi. Kindly acquaint yourself with these basics and comply with all academic procedures and processes. The dean of your faculty, who have, been, who have just been introduced, will be available to guide you in the registration of courses, as well as the issues I've mentioned academic display. Become a blood ambassador of your university, the University of Nairobi. University of Nairobi is the home of talents. One of the fastest men, Ferdinand Omanyala, is our student. Our teams continue to excel in music. Even now, the larger group of choir in Singisumu, and can you just inform me today they are collecting trophies. Our students also excel in sports. Our students excel in moot co competition, as well as in hackathons. All these add value to the university community. When you come back with a trophy, you add value to all of us. So we value excellent performance for everyone. Let's aim at adding value to each one. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a fruitful stay at the University of Nairobi. This is a nice place to be. We shall continue to meet in many activities as you sojourn for the next four years at this university, the University of Nairobi. May God bless you richly. We can do much better than that. Let us try. Thank you. May I take our seats quickly? The Bible says where there's no vision, people perish. And therefore you are lucky that the Vice Chancellor has shared the vision of this great university with you. In your own time, please visit our website, visit our different social media channels uh, to listen to that speech again so that you are impacted. Now I'd like to welcome Professor Munyoki to give a vote of thanks, after which we will start closing this session. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> after a busy day like today, it's always good to thank the various participants, stakeholders that put, are put into place what we have just gone through. Most importantly, knowing that we have come a long way in planning this day, I would like to foremost thank the Almighty God because without his providence, Today we will not have materialized. So we thank God for the work for enabling us to be here this afternoon. Secondly, I would like to thank in a very special way our Vice Chancellor, Professor Stephen Kiyama, for sparing this afternoon to come and give a very 
very encouraging speech and welcoming remarks to the students. Even if you are to forget everything, for me I captured four points that came out of his uh, main speech. And number one, that you must remember is that this universe as an employer is going to help you to conquer the world. That is a very important speech, the message to the students and all of us. Secondly, as a university, we seek to serve rather than to be served. That is a very strong culture of an institution like this university. You are going to fit into that culture of serving rather than being served. And number three, is that the priority for you as students when you are here must be your academic life. You must begin to fit into that from now. Finally, the university stands for quality. So thank you very much, Vice Chancellor, for that uh, strong message. I want to thank our Deputy Vice Chancellor Professor Julius Ongeng, again, for coordinating the whole of the activity that are going to what we are seeing today. Uh, thank you very much. We appreciate you. I appreciate the Corporate Affairs Director, Brian Oma, who is here again this afternoon with us. Our deans, associate deans, our chairman, for the great work that uh, we have all done during the week as we received and registered students. Let me thank our administrative staff and our support staff and our technical staff again because they have been in the forefront during this week as they register students and as you help them to settle down. That is great work you have done and we appreciate uh, this great role that we are playing as we receive our students this week. Our students, the student leaders who are here, we appreciate you. The president, you have made very good remarks and we appreciate that. And it's good to be here and to work with the students from the beginning, right from today and going forward for the next uh, four or five years, they are live here. And finally, in a very special way, the students themselves, the freshers, you have planned, you chose to come to this university for a reason. You must have thought, and because we are many universities, but you chose this university. We really appreciate you as our students, as our customers, because you have made us relevant. We know that we are going to have a job to do in the next four years as we want you, as we grow with you. So, Karibuni Sana, uh, for what you have done to us, and for being able to join this great university, the University of Choice. Indicators are that this is the best university in this country, we need the region and you continue to be. You are going to be part of that uh, journey as you work with us. And the very last, our parents, the guardians, and all other stakeholders who have supported you through your previous life in high school, who have helped to pay school fees, and who have continued to encourage you. I know most of them came up to this place with you to escort you to see that you said, we thank the parents of our students. So as and then, Sana, may God bless you as you settle down. Thank you so much. As we come to a close, I would like just to remind you that next week we have lined up several training sessions for you. Please ensure you attend those sessions. They are mandatory. They are not uh, sessions that uh, are elective. You are supposed to be trained in various skills that will help you to undertake your journey in this university. As Father Kaigua closes with a word of prayer, the choir will continue to entertain us as we allow the academic procession and the vice chancellor's procession to retreat and outside the hall, the vice chancellor will have a few minutes to take photographs with you. Thank you for coming for this uh, function.
and God bless you. Be all upstanding, please. At the beginning, we ask the Lord to bless this session, and truly, we are blessed with all the wisdom and the words of encouragement that we have received. We can only now thank Him as we close. Let us pray. We thank you, Lord, that you have made us your heritage as a university to supply the world with well-shaped individuals, and they all began with a day like today, bless this day, and bless this, our freshmen and women as they start off. And now that we have come together and received them, they now belong with us, help us to answer to our individual calls as teachers, as inspire us to these young ones, as parents while we are here at school, and help us to diligently dispend, expend our energies in every respect uh, to do what you have called us to do. And bless each one of us when we do that your call. And now we ask you to dismiss us out to seek the truth, truth that sets us free. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. And may the blessings of Almighty God come upon all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Excuse me, oh, we have a registration of different games, that is sports. If you're interested, you can remain behind, just here. The orientation process and having listened into everything that was said from the various members of um, the administration and faculty, we would like to hear from one of the first years who has attended the session and just get a feel of how the experience is at this point. Please come in. Welcome. Please tell us your name, your course, and um, following the session that you have just attended, do you feel better equipped to now um, face campus life? Okay, my name is Grace Omoyo Maina. Um, I'm pursuing uh, in Bachelor of Art and Design. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor and the others mm -hmm. for holding this session. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned la that, like, we sh that freedom comes with responsibilities, mm -hmm. and that we should take care of ourselves and 
we should interact with good friends, good company, so that we cannot be misled. Um, and I think um, now ready, I'm very ready to tackle this, to tackle our life. And uh, I say thank you for everything. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Um, thank you very much. Um, that was one of our students uh, right here at the Faculty of Arts. And um, as she has shared, they are indeed feeling more confident to face this journey now that they have been spoken to. As I had mentioned earlier, the University of Nairobi staff and administration take it very seriously to orient students and just get them acquainted with the systems. At this point, allow me to throw you back to the panel session for further discussion. Exit is up. Okay.